Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Space Engineers. Sadly, uh, my first attempt at trying to build anything that flies wasn't exactly the greatest success, as a few things I didn't take into account was uh, things that I never had to deal with before, like actual inventory mass and things like inertia and kinetic energy. So, needless to say, uh, what I was trying to do wasn't, in theory, the most practical on the planet. I realized I should be doing stuff up like that up there, and not down here, and that's kind of why I'm here. So I'm going to take it, make an attempt to try to make something that flies out there. I've been, I know what blocks I have and how they technically work. And I think I might be able to come up with something here. It might be the greatest thing in the world, but hey, it should work. And just because as a, as a, as a precaution to everybody else, they can at least see it. We're going to make a nice bright red just in case they see it coming. They know it's going to be me and they can get out of the way. So I'm going to try to use the landing legs this time to try to build it. Uh, see if I can dip it down a little bit so I'm not actually in the ground. And then when I finish it, it should actually lock to the, lock to the ground. Uh, that's what the green does. So now I've been thinking about trying to... Not necessarily a space plane idea. I was going to have atmospheric thrusters for... In the atmosphere, I know they're electric, electric but they use a lot of power. Uh, the thing about power, is with most games, is the more batteries you have, the longer you fly. So that's my so-called theory on this and I'm hoping this is going to be high enough so I'm going to start with putting a cockpit, on, a cockpit on the front if I can turn around like so and then I was thinking I want to try to get as many batteries on this as I can as long as I keep it within weight limits and at the same time too I'm going to be having uh, as you can see on the hot bar there a hydrogen generator and a H2O2 generator or hydrogen engine I should say and it's gonna basically be uh, the hydrogen is gonna be for space flight and for charging the battery for atmosphere. And I want to see how big this is. I think I might actually be able to get eight. I want to try to. You know, I think this might actually work. I want to make sure that uh, I have conveyor port access, and now I think about it, it won't work. So. Because I'm gonna have the, I gotta have the engine and the, the H2O2 generator back to back, but I gotta be able to access the back of the H2O2 generator to put the ice in. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna go three. And we'll stick a engine on the back, and let's see if we can rotate this the right way. There's one conveyor port. Hmm. That should be fine, actually. Yes, because I might actually be able to put this on top. Let's try it up here. If I rotate it this way, I want to have it overhangs, but I gotta have a block there. So I'll make sure to go to my other hotbar here. Just throw something there so I could place the engine down. Uh, actually, I should have placed the other, other bar here. Back to four. Over here to seven. Maybe rotate it. Like so. And then I'm going to take this block out. I should take both those blocks out and place the conveyor blocks. And then I'll put an H2O, gener H2O2 generator on the back and I'll bring you back for that. Okay, so here's what I got. Uh, the H2O2. H2O2 generator has small conveyor ports on this side, which are connected to here, which also connect up to the engine. Uh, the engine is going to generate power to charge the batteries only, or if I need to use the thrusters out in space. In theory, if I make it. No, no, no guarantees I will. Uh, so I also want to a get more batteries on, and I was thinking about possibly putting another set here. And then having the landing gear underneath them, and then maybe another set on top. Because I've got the engine further up, it should be okay. Uh, I will have a couple of gyroscopes on, and I just plan on having, like... Maybe I'll even put this in here, then. Because I was going to have the conveyors coming out with uh, five thrusters on it, like the hydrogen thrusters for the atmosphere flight, or space flight. Uh, like... Uh, give me a second. Alright, well here's what I got. I threw another battery on the back here on the top just to make sure I can access the door. I can't access it from here, but at least if I can access this, I can fill up my 
oxygen and fuel bottles. I can add ice in there to fuel it up and charge it up. So hopefully, as long as we get off the ground, it should work. Now it's just a matter of getting thrusters on here. And I'm going to switch over to my other hot bar, the blocks. No, that's not the block. That's the block. Now, I know there's thruster damage. I'm just assuming that's any blocks directly b behind the footprint of it. So if it's one block off, it should, in theory, hold up. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take some slopes. I'm going to crouch down if I can. going to go like so. And I would like to actually, you know what? I'm gonna take that out one more. Uh, yeah, going to some other bar. Uh, basically, I'm just gonna put some lace. I don't know what that is. I guess double clicking or something does that. I've done that a few times. Actually, taking apart st stuff apart that I didn't mean to. Right, I'll go back to four. Oh, another hot bar. And. Let's go through the block, go back to the slope, flip it down, and stand up and see if it's in the way. And I don't think it is. So, in theory, it should be okay. And I can just stick another landing leg on here. And back on this one here. Nine. Oh, that's not the right key. Of course not. Let's see if we can just snap it on there. But you get the idea, so let me get these legs back on and uh, I'll bring it back for a time, a little light, and to get the thrusters on. If I can get this on there, there we go. Oh, so far this is the best I could, I could think of. So the only thing I think is really left to do is try to put some thrusters on here. And so I'm thinking about where to put them. That's the wrong way. Come on. There we go. Make sure they're facing that way. I Again, I'm just going to assume that that hydrogen thruster is not going to affect this. I have been wrong before, and I'm sure I've been wrong many, many more times. And then now uh, we're going to have to have two for lift. One there. And my center mass is about here, so I'll probably have this one a little further up more. But then, I'm just guessing here. Alright, so with that, and I'm hoping I'm going to be able to have enough control with these thrusters and two gyroscopes that I have underneath, but we'll find out. Let me finish this up and get a little more light, and then I guess I'll take it for a flight after I get it fueled. No, I wasn't having the best of luck charging this thing. It was taking a while to just charge all five of those batteries. I think it's just because of the size of the batteries and the output of the engine. I did put a second engine on there, and another battery if you didn't see that one already. And because uh, one H2O2 generator can only supply one engine, I threw another one up top there just for the sake of it. It's not supposed to be pretty, it's just supposed to fly. And I docked it here to get it to charge faster because I had six solar panels on this thing and it wasn't doing much. And I also have this thing fully loaded with ice too. Um, so, in theory, the batteries are charged. I mean, oh, I can't zoom in yet. In theory, my batteries are charged and uh, I'm filled up, ready to go. So we'll turn those on. Uh, batteries have been on recharge, so I set them to auto. So everything turns on. And disconnect before you take off. Now it's not saying I have much charge. Well, about two hours, apparently. All right, let's uh, see if it actually flies. One of the things I forgot was uh, sideways thrusters too. So. So swing over to proxies, see how well that says two hours. I'm actually surprised. It's using those hydrogen engines though. I don't know why. Uh, let's see, hydrogen engines. They should be off. Notice I had to switch do that a few times. I'm not gonna do that with that. Make sure the generators are off, each two oh two generators are off. Okay. Let's go swing by. It's ugly, but it works. I think he's actually on right now. Get those retro thrusters. Hey. Don't hit his base. Yes, inertia is definitely a thing in this game.
kind of dark, but anyways. Let's see if this thing will actually get me to space. It might take me a while. Kind of slow. But, yeah, I'll bring you back eventually. Oh my god, I think I made it. I'm a flaming wreck, but I think I made it. I had to go back and add a few more thrusters just to get up here. And I think I'm technically in space now. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, it's definitely going to start thinking the Kerbal way on this one, I think. This is clearly whole undiscovered territory. Uh, it's been quite the challenge, but I think I'm out here. I don't know how thick the atmosphere is, but judging by how the sound, the music has changed. I think this is it. Wow. It's going to be quite interesting trying to get to other planets and stuff like that. Of course, it's all going to be seamless. Somehow, I don't think I'm quite making it out. And I think I'm going to call this one. I'm going to either have to find my way back or... Like how far do I have to go? 28, 20 kilometers. Well, that's possible. This thing's actually holding up on fuel. The, the hydrogen engines are actually filling up with hydrogen, which is actually what I was expecting, but eh, semi-success. Next time I'll have to definitely build something a little bigger and a little more worth its while. But anyways, uh, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Maybe.